On this episode, I talk about this week's releases and the sports card world. Let's go! This is Dave, and welcome to the SVA Card Collectors Podcast. What is up? What is going on, everyone? Dave at SVA Card Collectors. It's been a while. I keep saying that pretty much every single podcast. And it's funny, I get a little nervous now because I'm like... I haven't done it in a while. It's not like I'm doing it every single day like I used to. But um, I, I'm like, well, what should I say? Am I going to say it right? I want to be cool. I want to be hip like the kids. Um, and then I listen to other podcasts and, and, and things like that. And they are so buttoned up and so proper. And they don't want to say the wrong things and don't want to. So I'm, I'm all right. I don't have to worry about that crap. So we're going to start off. Right off the bat, what's being released uh, this week? Uh, tomorrow, we have 2019 2020 uh, NBA Hoops Premium Stock Basketball. There's a t- bunch of different boxes um, there. You can buy them at Target. Um, the hybrid box is the one um, that's the, I'll say like the main one. There's a bunch of other ones, hangers and the whole nonsense. But those hybrid boxes are going for $300. Six Cards per pack, four packs per box, 20 boxes per case. Um, This is the hobby version. So you're not going to be able to get these cards at Target, but the other ones, like the hangers and and that stuff, you will get at Target. Um, You get one rookie variation, two silver prisms, five additional prisms um, in that box. To be honest with you, this, I don't know what's going on. NBA hoops. We're talking about NBA hoops. $300. If you buy this, it's like that is equivalent to, you know, when you're in Vegas and you you had a party, you had a lot of fun, you get blackout drunk and you wake up and you look over and you see a big fat chick. That's what this would be like. If you spent three hundred dollars, you you get all. I'm gonna get a box of cards. You wake up and you get it, and then you go, but but it's NBA hoops. What are we doing here? <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's they're nice looking cards. They're shinier. They're they're you know, look shiny as uh. My Spanish people would say, uh, you know, half my people because I am half Spanish. Um, so I can say that I can be I can be racist uh, to my Spanish people and Czechoslovakian. That's my other half. I'm half Czechoslovakian and half uh, Puerto Rican. So um, I look Italian. No one has a clue. Um, yeah. So a um, little uh, ethnicity tip from uh, good old uh, SVA. Um, but yeah, th- these. I don't know what you're doing if you're buying these cards. You, you got problems. Now, on the 18th, you have uh, Panini on the horizon. Multi-sport Panini rewards cards. Good luck getting these. Two cards per pack. You have to have 4,000 points uh, to get one pack. Um, and they're sold on Panini's site. I'm sure they'll be, you know, you'll be able to get it. Well, actually, I don't know. If you have to have 4,000 points, I don't know how many people have that. Um, they're very similar to the downtown. They're reminiscent, as they say, on, on the cardboard connection of downtown. Um, it looks like a comic book almost, and it's horizontal. They look nice, um, but they're going to be difficult to get, I think, especially the, uh, the bigger players. When you go on eBay, you, you're going to be spending a couple of bucks. Um, then you have... Um, Panini Immaculate Collection Football Hobby Box. Um, six cards per pack, one pack per box, six boxes per case, five autographs, one relic. That's going to be also on the 18th. I think the last, I think the price I saw was 800 Something like that. It's, it's, it's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. It is stupid expensive. Um, but before we segue into talking about other stuff... I am creating a fantasy basketball league. Click on the description below. I think there's 12 teams. If there's more, you know, if we fill it up, if we actually fill it up and then more people want to do it, 
Um, it's free. I'm sure I got to figure out, um, you know, a winner and they're going to get something. I don't know if I gave something to the football winner. I don't know. I'm not too good at, at remembering this stuff. Um, I should, um, but I'm not. But it'll be fun in either way. In either case, it'll be a rotisserie league. It's not going to be head-to-head. Um, but it'll be something fun. Also, you'll, it'll help you learn about uh, players. I think it's really important to do fantasy basketball, football, baseball, if you really want to get into um, collecting cards. Um, you learn a lot of guys when you're looking on the waiver wire, and you go, hey, I never heard of this guy. And then they go crazy, and then you're chasing after their cards, but at least you'll know about them. Um, so it's going to be fun. Um, click the description, um, and I'll probably post it on my Facebook group as well. SVA card collectors, uh, SVA, I don't know, baseball card collectors at Facebook. It'll be in this again in the description guys also head over SVA card collectors.com. I got a bunch of articles there. Um, if you want to get your learn on, um, you have that stuff as well. Moving right along. I was watching, uh, sports card investor. I don't know why I do it to myself. Um, I get annoyed rather easily just because of the demeanor of everything. It's all hunky dory and, and a lot, you know, everybody's having, everybody's having a good time. Um, and why is that a bad thing? I don't know. There's something wrong with me. I have problems. Um, but eBay, um, he did, um, uh, a segment with eBay and they confirmed that they're going to have a new shipping uh, for $20, you know, for just for collectible cards only. And it'll be $20 or less. Um, and you'll be able to ship a card. I think it's 75 cents or something around. That. I don't know if she said the amount of money. Um, you can watch it yourself. It's about 20, 25 minutes. Or you could just listen to me uh, ramble on for a minute or two about it. Um, $20 or less. And you can ship the cards raw. Um, there are, is going to be a weight. I believe it's like 0.3 ounces. It's going to be like, you know three or four raw cards you'll be able to throw in that envelope. Um, but the great thing is you will get tracking. Um, what she also think uh, something that she said is for sports collectibles only, there is a 14 day return policy. That's like the standard, um, which I did not know if you want to get top rated. Um, and she also said for now, I guess ne- uh, next year the they're going to go to, you don't have to do any returns. Um, and you still get the top rated um, status if you're selling on eBay and you want to get that. And it does make a difference. It does help out on your rankings um, for getting your cards higher um, if um, you're into that. It sounds like it's like a <laughs> sexual thing if, you, if you're into that stuff, you know. Um, but they have that, which is a good thing because I think they, they – realized that people were returning when prices were going down and people know likey that they know likey that so um sure they also talked about you know ebay managed payments being such a great thing um and uh, there's some aspects that are good you don't have to deal with paypal anymore so if you have a return and ebay favors you but paypal doesn't favor you well paypal controls the money so it sucks to be you so now you just have one spot that you have to convince um the only thing that i am not liking right now i just switched over not that i i had a choice um but i switched over and for me to get my money takes forever it took two days for it to clear and then it took another two days it took like four or five days from the sale to get the money into my bank account. I do not like that. I think that is ridiculous. If PayPal's able to figure it out and able to do it in a day, eBay should be able to do that as well. So I'm not happy about that at all. And I will complain and bitch about it um, till that is remedied. Um, but yeah, that's something that you guys got to watch out for. And maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it will force people to not spend all their money. Um, but if you're you know, a big boy, it, it's your money. You should be able to do whatever you want. That's that's what what I want to say about that. I don't like the fact that a lot of people are going. Well, it's good. It makes you. It forces you not to spend. No, I I want to make that choice. I don't want eBay to make that choice for me. What I want to or what I don't want to spend money on. So I'm not happy about that. Not happy. Last week, uh, Bowman draft came out. 
Um, I'm not going to go into the players. I don't know them that well. Um, I, I would, if you go to Slapstock, I'm sure they have, you know, who they are in college or wherever the hell they played and, you know, how many balls they got and, uh, you know, what, what they do. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, but what I will say is this, um, Torkelson, the guy from Detroit, who's the number one pick, um, I've been seeing case breaks go from for $500 for Detroit Tigers. Um, I remember there was a time when the most was two two fifty, and that was like an insane price, and that was for Otani when he came out. Um, just not worth it, guys. It really is. I know I keep on saying it time and time again, but especially now, there was no minor league games, so we only have college to go by these guys or high school. That's it. We have no idea how they're going to perform. We don't know if this layoff is going to be an issue for them. No clue. And so there is a lot of this is true gambling um, because they haven't played. Um, so just be wary of that to get all hyped on, on, on everyone uh, on what they did in college. It's just silly. Um, it, it's as silly as betting money. Uh, a ton of money on like the last two months of what they did, but at least there's some data that you can go by or data, as some people will say. Um, there's just nothing, nothing to go by. So, um, caution, you know, buy maybe you want to buy some player lots. Um, I would wait a couple of months, um, but just just my my two cents. Um, if you're gonna buy a box, maybe you just seal it. Just keep it closed and don't open it. Um, I, I think that'll be the the safer bet, truthfully. Also, I saw Top uh, Stadium Club and Allen and Ginter Chrome cards. I love the Allen and Ginter Chrome cards. Those were my like one of my favorites. They looked great. Uh, Stadium Club. I'm not a big fan of their design this year. Um, love the pictures, but last year I it was that's probably one of the best sets um, looking wise ever I've, I've ever seen. Um, so the only thing with Alan Ginter and Chrome cards is you only get like four cards and they still got these dumbass things. They still got this, the tree, uh, a Jaguar, uh, you know, Dinkleberries. I, I don't know what they got. It's stupid. Um, especially when you only get four cards in the pack. Um, just get the players. I, I don't care about it. I don't want the egg. I don't want an egg Chrome card from Alan and Ginter. Go scratch. Um, uh, Yeah. Yeah. Giannis, Mr. Giannis signed. He signed his five year deal, so he's not going to the Knicks. Who knew? Who knew? Uh, he's not going anyplace else. Not going to Lakers. Nothing. Harden still wants to go. He still wants to be on the move. Um, basketball is really starting to heat up uh, card wise. Um, one of the guys, um, I'm buying right now and I'm going to do a video and I'll show you some of the cards. It's really just two players that I'm buying right now. Um, and what I, my thought process was, and it's something that you guys should be doing. It, it's an, a, an easy way to, um, collect the player. Um, and I would focus on the silver on up, not base cards, um, because the guys that you should be going after, um, they're not that recognizable, they're not that big, so I, I was thinking about, well, who do I think is going to have a good season as a team, and and I thought the Suns were going to have a good se team uh, season, and everyone's hyped up about their players, you got Chris Paul, you got Booker, um, you have Aiton, but I didn't want to go after those guys. So I was looking for Cam Johnson at first, but he was really expensive. So I actually went with McCall Bridges. That's the guy that I started buying. Um, his Defensively, he's really good, and I think that's something that they're going to need. Um, and he can shoot. He can score. Um, so his first preseason game, I was happy. He scored 14 points. Um, had a bunch of minutes. That's the type of guy that I'll I would be looking for. Maybe somebody on the Washington Wizards. Maybe like Rui. That may be a guy I, I know. Um, God Almighty, what's that guy's name? Uh, uh, PSA collector spoke uh, about him. He had a 
a video on like top five players to be looking at, and I saw Rui was her Harachimara or whatever the guy's name is. Um, somebody to take a look at. Um, but that's how I would be looking. I would look at all the different teams. I would stay away. I, I actually I wouldn't stay away from the Knicks. Um, I have faith in Tom Thibodeau. They won the first game, lost the second game, but that first game, they look like a completely different team. They're going to have a tough time scoring. I don't think they're going to do a lot of you know winning, but they're going to play a lot harder. And I think the games that are close, they're going to win more of those games than they did. Last year, they would just lose them. This year, you know, out of 10, maybe they'll win two or three of them instead of just losing all of them. Um, so I think they're just going to be an improved team just because they're going to be coached better. Um and that, that's how that's going to start with the Knicks. I think they will start doing better. That coach, once you get a good coach, and it's just like that in football as well. Once you get that coach, um, I think it's more important in football than it is in basketball. In basketball, you get the players. Um, if you get LeBron James, it doesn't matter who's coaching. And they, you're going to have a good team. I'm not saying you're going to win a championship, but you're going to have a good team. Um, if nobody wants to go to your team like the Knicks, then – you need to start off with getting a really good coach and building your players, and then that will attract people. So they're finally figured that out. Um, so I would ch- take a look at those teams. I know Atlanta Hawks uh, Hawks are another big team. I was really pumped about Cam Reddish, but now I don't know if he's going to get enough minutes. So maybe you want to check, check out DeAndre Hunter, but still he may not get a lot of minutes. So, um, yeah take a look at that that that's where you should be looking at if you're looking to go for cheaper cards and i'm sticking like i said i'm going for silvers um colored cards to like 25 to 50 to 75 99 the the cards that are harder to get those are the cards i'm going not hard to get but that are limited those are the cards i'm going after i'm not going after their base cards um because you can buy them for the price of what a base or a prism of a better player, you know, for example, like Tyler Hero, I was buying his silvers for like 40 bucks. I think I bought like three or four of them. Um, they're like a hundred bucks. I got them all graded. I'm probably going to get mostly nines. May I think I have a shot at one or two tens. Out of the four, I think I have, it should be one, one ten in there um, that I'm confident in. Uh, the other ones, I didn't think they would be that great, but at a PSA 9, I'm fine with that as well because it goes for a good amount of money. Um, and so, had I bought the 75s, the 25s of Tyler Hero, I could have gotten those cards and they would be worth a ton more money and it wasn't that much more that I would have to spend. So that's what I started focusing on, uh, those type of cards. I didn't want any base cards. I wasn't going to go after hoops or anything like that. I'm going after select prism optic, going after numbered cards, going after autos. Um, and so I'm going to be doing, a, I have a mailbox video that I'll be doing. Um, it's not a ton of stuff. I'm not like, uh, these, uh, these cool guys with the way they get mail days and they get like hundreds of these, but it's a decent amount for me. Um, so we have that going on. Um, football Steelers are falling. My, my, my jets, they're doing what they do best. Everyone lost faith in the rated game. I saw five seconds left. I said, look, I think we can get this done. And the jets did. They lost again. I got a bad feeling about the Patriots game, though. I really do. Um, I just want to keep losing. I just want to keep losing so we can get Trevor Lawrence and screw him up. Um, Bills are looking good. Ravens are starting to wake up. They played really well. That was a great game between them and the Browns. Browns Browns are a good team. Um, everyone was hating on Baker Mayfield. Um, I got two of his cards graded God knows how long ago. Hopefully I'll get them, you know. By the end of next year, hopefully. Um, but, you know, they're they're a tough team. I, I think, uh, look, it's going to be the Chiefs. I, I, unless something crazy happens, I, I think the Chiefs are going to get through. Um, NFC is much wilder. Um, I don't know who's going to come out of there, truthfully. Um, I thought the Giants really took a turn 
for the better. Um, and then they had that disappointing loss on Arizona. Everyone's now hates uh, the quarterback, Danny Dimes. He was hurt. You could tell he was hurt. I don't know why people are making a big deal about this, you know, his decision-making, whatever. When you're hurt and you're getting hit all the time, the decision-making isn't going to be that great. Look at uh, Tom Brady. Um, whenever he starts getting hit, all of a sudden he's not you know, doing too good. Um, so NFC is wide open. Packers, I don't know. I don't think they have it. They just don't have – you have Aaron Rodgers, but uh, I think somebody – it's it's not going to be a team that we think – that we're thinking of that's going to come through. The Redskins. That's what – who's going to be the Redskins? <laughs> the Redskins, Alex Smith. Um, I, I, I'm not too sure who it's going to be, but um, it's going to be fun. It, it's pretty exciting. They have a lot of good games. Um, and I think the AFC is going to be pretty competitive. I think you have Kansas City and the Steelers, but all those lower teams – are really strong and can beat them at any time. Um, outside of Kansas City, I think they could beat the Steelers. I think anyone could beat the Bills, but I think the Bills could beat anyone. Uh, it's just, it's going to be really, really fascinating to see what's going on. So um, now, I'm segueing very sharply, people. Um, baseball. No really big signings. I know the Mets signed that guy McCann. I forget what Tigers or something like that. He was a nobody catch, and in the next two years, the last two years, he's been doing pretty well. Um, I think in typical Met fashion, he's going to do what he does best and suck at catching. So um, unless they turn the corner and they think this Cohen guy is going to be uh, uh, their, you know, their grand changer of players, I know the Mets. There's going to be a ton of expectation, and that's when the Mets really shine. So. Um, I'm going to leave it at that for the Mets. But right now, you should be buying baseball like it's going out of style. Um, prices are low. No one's really talking about it. Everyone's talking about basketball. Everyone's talking about football right now. Um, even stupid soccer. Um, their stupid cards. No one's talking about baseball right now. You should be loading up on this stuff and getting ready. One of the players I've started to buy, and I'm actually buying his base cards, but I'm buying them graded, um, is Glaber Torres. Um, I felt that the Topps update seemed to be the card that everybody wanted, um, but it's been changing a bit. Um, and I don't know if it's maybe I'm picked the wrong. Uh, because and now I'm talking myself out of it after I bought so many. Uh, you know, Soto's Topps Chrome cards, his update uh, Chrome cards, gone up a lot, went up a ton. Um, and Glaber right now, you can get him for 40 to 50 bucks. I think that should be a $100, $125 card um, because I think he's a really good player, Glaber Torres. Um, I think he's going to be hitting 300, 280 to 300 batting average, 90 to 100 RBIs. I think he's that type of player. Um, and when he starts hitting well during this, this coming season, um, his cards are going to jump. I, that's just me. Um, so I've been buying that. I've been buying his Topps Chrome cards, not his Topps Update. Because his Topps Update are 60 70 bucks, a little bit more expensive. So... Um, I I think, truthfully, what I feel is this is a $125 to $150 card. That's where I think I see it going. But to be, you know, on the safe side, I think $100 bucks is, a, is a damn good point for him where I could start selling them, especially when I bought them for $40, bucks, uh, 45 bucks, 48 bucks with, you know, shipping. Um, that'd be a damn good return. And then I can use that money to buy a bigger card, um, and go after somebody different. Um, and that's what I'm going to be doing, especially like Mikel Bridges. I'm probably not going to get them graded because I won't get them back in time unless he starts going nuts. Um, but if he does, then I'll do the quick five day turnaround because some of the cards I'm getting is to 75 to 99. So they're probably going to be worth more money. Um, so that was my thought pro process as the Canadians would say, right? Process, um, the Canucks, but 
yeah, all right, I'm rambling around. Oh, well, I wasn't rambling around. I just got to baseball, and that's pretty much it. I don't do hockey. I don't know anything about it. Sorry, guys. Um, SVACardCollectors.com. Don't the flick chat. I'm really not on it that much anymore. I, it, it is really good at conversation. So if you guys want to still be there, um, by all means, talk away. Uh, I think the Facebook group is a little bit more active. Um, I need to start posting more. I keep saying that every single podcast, but um, I'll get on it eventually. Um, sign up for the basketball draft. It's going to be on the 20th at 7 o'clock Eastern time. And you guys know what to do. Buy some cards and go broke. Later.